Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Talk Sports in South Jersey. We are back and we got catching up to do. Let's start by talking about our local teams first. Starting with the Philadelphia Union. Congratulations to the Philadelphia Union. They clinched the playoff spot. They are 15, 12, and 5 on the season. They are off this week. They have 50 points on the season. If the season were to end today, they would be in the knockout round taking on the Columbus Crew. They are behind New York City Football Club for third place to get into the knockout round. Let's hope they get a few more wins under their belt and move up a spot in the Eastern Conference. The Philadelphia Eagles are 2-3 and three on the season. What is wrong with the Philadelphia Eagles? Two tough losses at Tennessee in overtime and against Minnesota at home at Lincoln Financial Field in an NFC Championship rematch. It's a short week for the Eagles as they take on the New York football Giants on Thursday. Let's get a win and stay in the NFC East race. The Temple Owls are 3-3 three three on the season. They won their last game against Carolina at Lincoln Financial Field by a score of 49-6. A real short performance by the Temple Owls. Next, they will take on the Navy Midshipmen at Navy Memorial Stadium in Maryland on Saturday. Let's get a win and be over 500. Fight, fight, fight for the cherry and the white. The Pennsylvania Quakers are 3-1 on the season. They won 31-27 at Sacred Heart. They will take on Columbia on Saturday. Let's keep the winning streak going. The Villanova Wildcats are 3-3 on the season. They will take on James Madison this Saturday in Villanova. Let's get a win and be above 500. Nova! 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 We will talk more of the local teams next week. It's time for This Week in Sports History, everything happening around in the world of sports. On October 8, 1927, the New York Yankees sweep the Pittsburgh Pirates in 24th World Series. On October 9, 1905, the Philadelphia A's meet the New York Baseball Giants in the World Series. The Giants win 3 0. On October 10, 1920, the Phoenix Cardinals, then in Chicago, play their first NFL game, a scoreless tie. On October 11, 1902, commencement of first test cricket between South Africa and Australia. On o October 12, 1964, American Don Shalander wins an Olympic record 53.4 seconds to beat Byron Robert McGuire by 1.1 second and win the 100 meters freestyle gold medal in Tokyo. First of Shalander's four gold medals at the Games. On October 13, 1963, Ryder Cup Golf, East Lake Country Club, U.S. beats Great Britain 23-9. Competition format changes with the addition a four ball, better ball, matches on a third play of third day of play. And on October 14, 1908, the Baseball Writers Association of America forms. I'll have more sports history fun facts next week. It's time to recap the 2018 MLB Division Series. Congratulations to the Milwaukee Brewers. They are advancing to the National League Championship Series. The Houston Astros advance to the American League Championship Series. The Los Angeles Dodgers lead the Division Series two games to one over the Atlanta Braves. The Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees are tied at one game each. Who will the Houston Astros face in the American League Championship Series? The Boston Red Sox? or the New York Yankees? Who will the Milwaukee Brewers face in the National League Championship Series? The Los Angeles Dodgers or the Atlanta Braves? We will have more of the 2018 Major League Baseball postseason next week. Now it's time to see how my predictions worked out for week four of the National Football League. I went four for six. 
I missed out on the Eagles and Lions, who suffered tough losses. But I did get the Los Angeles Rams, Green Bay Packers, New Orleans Saints, and the Baltimore Ravens correct. It's week six of the NFL season. It is time to pick the top six NFL games. Who will win the game on Thursday and Sunday? Starting with the Philadelphia Eagles versus the New York Giants. The Philadelphia Eagles suffered two tough losses at Tennessee and against Minnesota. What is wrong with the Eagles? They are defending Super Bowl champs. They are 2-3 and three on the season. Wake up, Philadelphia! Now's the time to shine! Play well on defense, and you got to start playing better! For the New York Giants, they lost to Carolina 33-31 in Charlotte. Graham Gano kicked a 63-yard field goal to win the game. I predict Philadelphia to bounce back, and they will be at 500 and sack Eli Manning. Indianapolis Colts versus the New York J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. The Indianapolis Colts are 1-4 on the season, losing at New England 38-24. What has gotten into Indianapolis? They are struggling through five games this season. For the New York Jets, they are 2-3 on the season, winning against the Broncos 34-16. I predict Indianapolis to go into MetLife Stadium and eke out a win. Carolina Panthers versus Hail to the Redskins. The Carolina Panthers are 3-1 on the season. They won on a game-winning field goal with 6 seconds left. 33-31 against the Jumon. For the Redskins, they are in first place in the NFC East. It's a short week for the Redskins. I predict Carolina goes into Landover and seek out a win. Pittsburgh Steelers vs. Cincinnati Bengals and AFC North rivalry. Pittsburgh comes in with a 2-2-1 record. A big win against the Atlanta Falcons, 41-17. For Cincinnati, a come from behind win against the Miami Dolphins, 27-17. They are in first place in the AFC North. I predict Cincinnati wins the game, sack Ben Roethlisberger, and they will stay in first place in the AFC North. Jacksonville Jaguars versus Dallas. How about them Cowboys? The Jacksonville Jaguars had a tough game in Kansas City. They lost big time 30 to 14. Two intercessions, intercessions by Blake Bortles. One of them was returned for a touchdown. For Dallas, they are two and three on the season, losing at Houston 19 to 16 in overtime. I predict the Jaguars to go into Arlington and sack Dak Prescott and eke out a W. Kansas City Chiefs versus the New England Patriots. The Kansas City Chiefs are unstoppable. They are 5-0 on the season. The Chiefs are looking for their sixth consecutive win. For the New England Patriots, they are off to a slow start losing two games at Jacksonville and Detroit. I predict that the New England Patriots will stop the Chiefs' undefeated streak and give them their first loss of the season. Check in next week and we will see how everyone did. Well, that is a wrap. You can also listen to my podcast through my Facebook page at Stefan Sports Radio or through the podcast app or this YouTube channel. And you can listen to me Saturday nights at 6 o'clock on 1360 WNJC in Cherry Hill. Thank you for watching and keep those comments rolling and we will talk to you next week.